I'd hit him right in that fake nose. That fake nose. They'd have plastic lying all over the floor. Illegal! Boom! Fifth indictment. Now the walls for cereals. Donald Trump, they're closing in. Big time, big league. You're under arrest for threatening violence against the venerable statesman Joe Biden. Infowars boys video. Donald Blump <laughs> says he, quote, dreams of punching Biden in his fake nose. There'd be plastic all over the floor, end quote. I got to make sure I put, quote, end quote. Those are quotes. FBI is asshole. Washington, D.C., commie capital fucking criminal police is asshole. Right? That was Donald Trump's quote. And I know that you're going to fly down. I'd like to see Donald Trump grab this Secret Service steering wheel as they fly down to go and arrest him for making this comment. You know exactly what the left is going to do, right? But I don't want to say that. So when he says it, they say, oh, he said, remember when he was doing that? I'd like to take him to the back of the barn. <laughs> so he can say that. And they say, oh, did you hear him? If I said it, they'd say I was violent. I was violent. There's two standards of justice. It's a very bad thing. They're all going to scream that Donald Trump can't be president now. This is disqualifying. Threats of violence. This will not be tolerated. And boom, pff, right on cue. Here is Huffington Post and the mainstream media press saying that Donald Trump just laterally and literally threatened Joe Biden's life. Go punch him right in his nose. Plastic all over the floor. Plastic and hundred dollar bills all over the floor. It's where all that works. Probably cocaine too, allegedly. Jimmy Kimmel spots Trump's truly weird new threat against Joe Biden. He even threw in sound effects. Boys, he went like this. And it just goes on and it says, um, Kimmel played a clip of Trump fantasizing about punching President Joe Biden in the nose. Trump made a fist and mimed three soft jabs, complete with sound effects, everybody. Flap. So... He went from fake news to fake nose. Jimmy Kimmel. It's an expensive joke. How many of your diversity feminists wrote you that joke, Jimmy? Huh? 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 You gonna cry like a bitch too? <laughs> oh my god. Oh poor Lions. Oh no, Lions and Joe Biden. I'm so sad. Jimmy Kimmel with his fake nose. Cry soy boys. That's how I'm telling you. All right, so, uh, yeah, of course. Of course they were gonna all scream that Donald Trump threatened to kill Joe Biden and that's it. Arrest them right now. Now, of course, because they're all criminal shitbag commie fuckers. If you listen to this clip, Donald Trump is referencing when Joe Biden threatened to punch him when he was president. That's where how that works. So if there should be any arresting, it should be done by the initial threat of violence brought to you, of course, by that fucking lizard person skin job, Joe Biden, who shits himself all over the place. During the campaign, he said he was going to, he wanted to take Donald Trump behind a woodshed and fuck him like a small child. Allegedly. Oh, I mean, punch him in the face, right? Joe Biden does all of his child molesting, not behind barns, but in basements, allegedly. And so, holy fuck. <laughs> allegedly. So the initial threat of punching a president in the face came from Joe Biden. That was your pedophile goofball lunatics. And you didn't write any articles about that. You, oh, it was a joke. Oh, it was a joke. But when Donald Trump references the original threat of violence and says, if he took me behind a barn, I would just blow him like this and he'd fall the fuck over because the dude can't go upstairs. The entire mainstream criminal media apparatus all in unison screams, Donald Trump threatened to punch Joe Biden and he needs to be arrested. As much as you hate the media, as much as you hate these fuckers like Jimmy Kimmel, you don't hate them enough. These are monstrous propagandist pieces of shit. They are useful idiots. And there is a special 10th layer of hell reserved just for these idiots and John McCain. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video and supporting the channel. If you want to be kept up to date, with this criminal election meddling being carried out by crybabies like Jimmy Kimmel and these fuckers at the Huffington Post, hit that subscribe button and make why. Because the salt must flow.